What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So today, freaking work all day. So I got my work shirt on. Just got some joggers on. Um, got the gym bag pack tonight for legs. And um, tonight is going to be like more of like a fast paced workout. Um, Mirage coming over after. So I don't want her to come over too late. Plus I'm like, I want to hang out there. So um, that's life. And I'm probably going to have like an hour to an hour and a half workout tonight. So, I mean, that's not too short. But it's also, long. I, I usually work out for like two hours at a time. But it's all good. And we're going to kill legs because when you hit legs really fast, take shorter rest periods, I mean, it's so taxing on your body. So that's that, guys. But I'm starving and I'm going to make breakfast. Um, a way to make your breakfast like super high in like protein, if you want to have go like carb heavy, like for me with pancakes, I pour a lot more egg whites in it to make it like a lot more protein based. So that's how you do that, guys. Plus, you could throw a scoop of protein there, but usually that makes the pancakes really dry. So I just like to put more egg whites. But, anyways, yeah, gonna make some breakfast and I'll see you guys up there. Oh, yeah, guys, look at that. All those pancakes, uh, black grapes. Strawberries, and I put strawberries on top. Apple cider vinegar. Got my vitamins, and I got my water. All set. I just devoured all that food. I feel good. I feel nice and full. I should be good to go for the rest of the day until like later. I'm only bringing like rice and one piece of chicken to work to eat, and then I have. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. More chicken back there I cooked. And then, look at all that restocking we did. Holy crap. Yeah, but, um... Um, what was I... Yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm going to work, guys. And weather is looking like bull crap outside. But that's okay. We going to work anyway. Um, yeah, so... I will see you guys later tonight. Be ready for a great leg workout. Well, I guess I should be ready. Be ready to watch. And yeah, see you guys later. What's going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new commentary. So here we're doing a leg workout. And you usually don't see me starting off with this lift. So what I'm doing here is a standard leg press and keeping my legs, my legs nice and close. I'm pushing through my heels to um, emphasize more on my hamstring and my glutes. And this is going to give me a good warm up for squats. Also, it's going to work on the quad a little bit more, a little bit too, but uh, emphasizing more on the hamstrings and the glutes, doing four sets of 15 reps. And then we moved on to um, back squats, and there I just said 205. And uh, I'm doing pause reps, four sets of five. Um, obviously, these clips are sped up, so you don't, the pause isn't as long at the bottom. And also, I could be pausing a little longer than I am. So I am going to work on that, but yeah, I was pausing for like one Mississippi at the bottom and coming back up. I'll try to aim for like two to three next time. And yeah, pause reps are going to, you're going to gain a lot more strength doing that like that and training your body to stay down at the bottom like that, ass to grass. And then we moved on to angled leg press for four sets of 15 with four plates. Um, had my feet shoulder width apart and pushing through my heels uh, to work more on the hamstring and the glutes. Um, this also gave me a really good burn in my quads which is really good. Um, going back to back to back guys minimal rest periods and uh, then we moved on to leg curls and I did 145 pounds for four sets of 12. Worked really really good. Um, uh, when you guys when you do this guys imagine bringing your, your uh, ankles up and pulling through your ankles and you're going to feel a lot more in your hamstrings and then we moved on to single leg uh, leg extensions doing four sets of 15 a piece right back to back to back to back to back no rest and uh, guys this was a quick and effective workout it took me like an hour long plus abs like an hour and 15 minutes to do legs and abs and I was just smoked after this workout um so I highly recommend you guys try doing your whole leg workout in an hour and see how you feel after. I mean, it's really, really taxing, but it works really, really well. And then we ended the uh, the workout off with um, 
my calf raise superset, and we did seated calf raises, and we superset that with standing calf raises. We did four sets of 12 to 15 reps, and uh, yeah, I did two plates for the seated one, and I did 205 pounds for the standing one. And then we moved on to some abs. Just showed you guys one variation of the abs I did was was this the leg raises in the front and each side. So yep, that is gonna do it for this workout, guys. I want to thank you so much for listening, and I will see you all in the next one. Oh gosh, that was so like such a fast and effective workout, like quick and effective. I never I never really have those too often, but whew, I'm freaking tired. I wasn't gonna do abs. I thought to myself, I said. You know what, we just gotta do it, we just gotta get it in. So I did abs, killed abs, killed legs. Pretty freaking tired. But uh, yeah, going home now, gonna get some food. Really hungry, the rice coming hard. And it's gonna be good. And it, it looks so cool inside. Does it look cool? Do I look, do I look cool? Does the lighting look good? Heck yeah. <laughs> this looks so green too. All right, I will see you all at home, about to get in the Jeep and uh, drive home, so see you in a bit. I'm making all kinds of gains today, guys. I got a spinach egg white omelet with ketchup on top, and look at that freaking salad. Oh my gosh. Oops. Chicken, uh, cucumbers, romaine lettuce, strawberries, grapes, and um, it's like a coconut, vi coconut vinaigrette dressing. Oh, I, this, Bro, really? This looks so good. Um, and then Mariah's gonna come over a little bit. I have a, like a crap ton of macros left. Like, I'm not even lying, I have maybe like 50 to 60 grams of fat left and at least 200 carbs left. So, I did. I do have that Edie's half the fat ice cream, which I could just unload that ice cream. I could just eat so much of it tonight. So we're probably gonna, we're probably gonna like finish off the rest of that tub. I did have some yesterday, but yeah. I will see you guys in a bit. Good morning guys. It's getting the vlog started late. It's like 12.30 right now. I woke up like at like 12.40, 11.45 and then I kind of like laid in bed, showered up and here I am. So today I'm wearing the uh, Elfly scoop neck with some Elfly joggers, Elfly bracelet. Every day I wear that bracelet. Um, so we're getting pancakes going. I do two servings, for the new subscribers, just so you know, I do two servings of that which is one cup. Also, one serving of Bisquick. I throw a banana in there. It makes it like really moist inside. It's really good. Um, one serving of this, which is like three grams. Uh, chocolate of cinnamon. Eyeball that vanilla out. And then I just, however much egg whites I want to put in there today, I have nine tablespoons. I might even go 12 tablespoons um, just to get the extra protein. And uh, oh, yeah, you weigh everything out too. It makes everything a whole lot easier. So. If you don't have a scale, definitely buy one, and it works out so much better like that. So, I'm gonna get going with this. I'm gonna get going with this, and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right. So before I like even start making those pancakes, I already got to blend it up. Um, for those of you who like struggle to take your daily apple cider vinegar, <clears throat> what I do before like anything is basically I eat, I do that first. So I'll have my vitamins right here. Oh man, apple cider vinegar. If you just like do it like right away during the day, you won't forget it, and uh, you feel a lot better. So I usually do it like fasted, and I'm getting used to it now, so it's not that bad. Now it just tastes like apples, so it's, it's all good, guys. But look how much batter I have here, and both to toss them on there and make me like so much pancakes. Hopefully, like like 15 pancakes. Look at that, guys. Presentation is everything. So I'm about to head out to Mariah's house to hang out before she has to work. She works at 3 o'clock, and then I'm meeting Tommy up at Complete Nutrition. He has to get a few things. He's going to refer me, and um, then on to the gym from there. I threw on this uh, Lululemon jacket just because it's raining outside, and it's like 50 degrees. Pretty cold, um, plus it's raining. So, yeah, got my gym bag all ready right here. And... Yeah, I'm going to head out, and I will see you guys probably at Complete Nutrition. So, see you then. Today, I am sampling this machine, Apple Juiced, right here. 
So I'll tell you that how that is in just a sec when we are ready to go to the gym. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Have a nice day. Thanks. All right, so we're about to get on this push workout now. Starting off with the dumbbell incline bench. What I do, guys, is I have it at a 30 degree incline. I put the seat up all the way. I'm gonna start off with like a warm up, two warm up sets. It's like 10 reps a piece. Keep the form nice and slow. Just 50 pound dumbbells. Use my knees to bring up the weight. Lock. Come down low enough. Squeeze your chest at the top. Featuring. What's up, Ben Kid? <laughs> yeah, featuring Ben Kid. To show you guys how to look today. <laughs> Alright, so out of the working sets now, I'm going to use 90 pound dumbbells, shooting for four sets of six to eight reps. Another thing I forgot to tell you is when you go down, try our uh, track your scapula using just more chest. If you just sit regular, you're gonna use more shoulders too. So by contract your scapula, you're gonna use just more chest, and that way you can emphasize your chest more, gain more strength through your chest. You're gonna to have to drop down weight for a while until you're, you get used to working it like that, and also keep your back arched and keep your feet planted. Alright, so moving on to dumbbell flat bench, went down to 80 pound dumbbells because I want to try to increase my rep range at least by two reps. So, same rules apply, guys. Scapula contracted, keep an arch in your back, planted, and yeah, four sets of uh, 12, uh, 10 to 12 reps this time. Alright guys, so next we're moving on to decline push-ups with a 45 pound plate on my back and nice low controlled. Let's do it. <laughs> Next, moving on to dumbbell flies. These are 30 pounds. You want to go down low enough to feel a pull in your chest. Not too low, you don't want to tear your shoulder. But just low enough, you feel a pull in your chest, come back up, squeeze in the middle. When you go to the middle, turn your pinkies over. I'll show you just a quick, a quick set real fast or a rep. Alrighty, so keep your scapula contracted, big chest, arch your back. Go down, turn your pinky in, squeeze your chest at the middle. Four sets of 12 reps. Alright, so next we're going to do a press, and this uh, works on upper chest plus the shoulder. So, if you can, there's weights in my hands. What you want to do is you want to, I keep my back arch, I mean my, yeah, my back arch all the time. Big chest, come right here, twist, squeeze at the top, come back down, keep it nice and controlled. Squeeze at the top, keep your feet planted. We're doing four sets of 10 to 12 reps.
next movement is going to be tricep overhead extension using 75 pounds. Uh, just pretend there's another weight in there. So I'll bring it over my shoulder like this. Pull the right back here. You don't have to keep your elbows in, guys. I usually have mine like right here. And I hold it like this. Come down, squeeze at the top. Come back down, squeeze at the top. I usually have my back arch. And I usually have just like this part of my back on the bench right here. That's like the only spot that touches. And I keep my, my butt on the bench at all times. And also keep my feet planted at all times. Four sets of eight to 10 reps. So I failed on my ninth rep, which is all right. I'm not gonna let it get to me. You fail, sometimes you fail on certain reps. So yeah, just push past the guys and keep grinding. Next set, I actually did 10 reps, so that's really good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep grinding, guys. And yeah, happy minds. All right, so next we're moving on to single arm lateral raises. What you wanna do is like find this a rack. I use this rock curl rack in your beam. And then when you go up, you want to twist your pinky up just, a slight, just slightly and yeah, pull, uh, pull up with your elbow. Four sets of 15. What's that? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Alright, next is the tricep movement, which I do not know the name of, name of, I'm so sorry. But what you want to do is you want to lay back, put your arm to the side at 90 degrees, come up, lock at the top. I usually like to hold my tricep just to get the mind muscle connection, make sure it's working. Four sets of 15 reps. Final movement for shoulders is going to be a superset. I've never done this before. Well, I have these block curl right down here for my shoulder. Um, so what I'm doing for the superset is I'm doing uh, 10 reps each. I'm doing front raise followed by uh, upright row. So uh, four sets, 10 reps each. So last tricep movement plus the last uh, movement for the whole workout is going to be rope extensions. So I'm going to change the weight just so I can show you guys a better form. So what you want to do guys is have your feet planted. I keep my feet fairly uh, together, close together. Have my back arched. Bring my shoulders back. Puff my chest out. You want to swing out by locking your triceps. Come back up. Back up to parallel. Do the same. Make sure you're breathing guys in between sets. Four, you want to do four sets of 12 to 15 reps. I thought you were going to pay there. Finally, getting some post workout meal, getting a post workout meal in. So we stopped up at complete, no, 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 we stopped at the vitamin shop and got Lenny and Larry cookies, Tommy bought me three, so it was really nice of him. And then we went to uh, Target and I got an Edie's ice cream I restocked, because I was out, I got mint cookie crunch. So I did snack them on the way back here, but now I have a giant salad and I'm super excited to get this in, so I will see you guys all uh, later on. Oh yeah guys, when you have tons of macro left, Tons of macros left and you get to splurge a little bit. Plus, bulk life. They came over after work. Um, we got popcorn and ice cream that we're about to snack on. And we're going to watch a movie on Netflix. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't. 
Give this video a thumbs up, comment any questions if you have them, and I will see you all in the next one.